Hello everyone and welcome to my 5k Wednesday using the Pomodoro method because I have homework and I'm not doing it so here we are. For those of you who don't know the Pomodoro method was created by Francesco Cirillo in like the 1980s. I know that Emily Bourne does a lot of Pomodoro method live streams on her channel. Basically the Pomodoro method is you work for 25 minutes, you take a five minute break, do another 25 minutes worth of work, take another five minute break, you do that for three Pomodoros, so three 25 minute work, three five minute breaks, and then you get to have a longer half an hour break after that, then you start again until your work is done. I'm writing 5k, I don't know how long it's going to take me to write 5k, hopefully it won't take me that long to write 5k, and I hope we're going to see how far we're going to get with my work today, at least, at least chapter 20. At least chapter 20. First 25 minutes in, we are at 706 words out of, well not really out of 2,000, but out of 5,000. That's how many we need to write today. Let's change that. There we go. That just made the line worse. I have been having trouble with this chapter for like the past week and it's really, it's really, really been bugging me. I just can't, I can't get past it. I don't, I'm changing stuff in it and I'm not quite sure what I'm changing or why I'm changing it and mail I didn't quite make sense and there's too much action going on where it shouldn't be going on and it's just, pacing's off but I suppose doing this, if I just get through it, I can fix it later. I just need to force myself to get through it first. That's what we're doing right now. We're getting through it. Not as good as the last 25 minutes, but we did okay. Okay, I have to admit that last 25 minutes did not go very well at all. Like at all. <laughs> I finished chapter 19, finished chapter 19, so I've only got chapter 20 to do. But um, I don't quite know where I'm going. And um, the reworking of the POVs and what happens, like from what I've outlined, I didn't like where it was going. It's sort of, it's difficult with Project Body Swap because there's three characters but two of them share a body. So really at only at any one point in the novel there's only two of the characters at a time. And because it's multi POV, POVs go in a specific way. It goes Noah, Sefi, Tasha. With Tasha and Sefi being the ones who switch bodies. So the way I've got in, got it at the moment, we're only getting like one chapter of Tasha. And then, like, the next couple of chapters are with Sefi and Noah. And then it goes back to Tasha's POV, and obviously then it's Tasha there. And I've just spent three ch three of the previous chapters with Sefi and Noah. And then it's Tasha's as a single chapter, and then it goes back to the story being with Sefi and Noah. So it's like we're not seeing enough of Tasha with how I've outlined it, so I've had to read through what I've already got for certain parts that I need to lead up to writing and sort of figure out how to change either the outline or the POV order for a little bit to sort of have more Tasha and less Sefi. So I think, I think I've figured it out. I think I've figured it out. There's a couple of moments where the POVs sort of change. So instead of going Noah, Sefi, Tasha, it goes Noah, Sefi, Noah. So there's an extra Noah. And then there's a few chapters where it's just Noah and Tasha until it goes back to Sefi again to sort of keep the character in the forefront more, to sort of extend everything that happens so it doesn't just cut off at the end of something big happening and it's a completely different character in a completely different time and setting. And we'll see if it works and we'll spend the next 25 minutes moving on to chapter 20. Thank you. 
five minutes is the perfect amount of time to make a cup of tea in my disgusting six pound kettle. I hate you so much. Okay, another 25 minutes down. We've written 3,525 words so far today. My tea is going cold very quickly and I'm not impressed. Um, I blame the kettle and not the cold temperature of my house at the moment. We're doing okay. I am writing almost word for word at the moment as part of the rewrites obviously with slight changes to description and stuff like that for the rest of chapter 20 so got maybe maybe a thousand more words i need to write for chapter 20 until it's at like the decent word count of roughly 3,000 words i like whether i have another 1,000 words um to go with the the rewrite i don't actually know i'll have to make i'll have to make do and i'll have to make it an extra thousand words say so yeah, 1942 for the chapter so far for chapter 20. so hopefully we'll get into chapter 21 to finish off the rest of the 5k and i would have done my homework and everything will be all right and i'm not going to get punished i've told off by nikita for not doing my homework I'm not really following the Pomodoro method properly either, which is really, really bad. I started off well this morning. I did two 25s in a row, which was good. Um, after the second 25, the baby woke up. So I, I took my half an hour break there from when she woke up to when my mum picked her up because it's grandma day. And then we went out shopping and then we came home and I did another 25 and then took a little bit more than a five minute break and then I've just finished my fifth 25 now and I'm gonna try and go into another one straight away obviously baby is home she's currently napping I have no idea when she's gonna wake up so I'm gonna try and make do as best I can and if I have to stop and start again after six o'clock for another session of 25 minutes and so be it uh, doing three in a row is, is impossible with the time that I have during the day and my sort of weird schedule that I have having to look after baby then taking the kids to school picking them up from school but even so sitting with the time and working for 25 minutes at a time that's that part of the Pomodoro method is still actually really really helpful so even if I'm not following it completely I'm still sort of following it so it's sort of working for me at the moment sort of we got 10 minutes into the uh, next Pomodoro and the baby has woken up so I'm gonna I'm gonna well let's pause actually and then I'm gonna see how much work I can do with the remaining 15 minutes or so probably not that much success do I realise how weird and disjointed this um, sort of weird writing vlog has been? Yes, I do understand. I did not record myself every single time I did a 25 minute writing sprint. And I'm trying to run away to film this, but um, the baby is following me into her bedroom. So, <laughs> went into the wrong room, clearly. So, 5,000 words done, 5,404 words done. I am 500-ish words into chapter 21 now. And... It is a chapter that's got a little bit of a new event happening in it so the beginning stays the same as it does in the first draft and then somehow I need to change it for it to go into the new bit I've got. I don't quite know where it's going to happen or how it's going to happen. One of the characters is going to get is, is hurt and is going to like fall unconscious. Maybe I just need to like and suddenly this character fell unconscious and we'll, we'll live with that for now but <laughs> homework completed I am on chapter 21 I need to get up to chapter what did I say I needed to get to chapter 26 by the end of this week okay. 
gave myself more homework without meaning to. But while I did not follow the Pomodoro method as I should have with three sets of Pomodoro 25s and then a half hour break and then continue, because um, schedule obviously, working in 25 minute sets, whether I do one at a time or two at a time with a break in between, that was really helpful. So can I do it properly all the time? Not unless all the kids are not in the house. Can I do something similar to break my day up? Yes, I can. Yes, it works for me. So we're going to have to give this 5k Wednesday another go. Maybe next Wednesday in preparation for NaNoWriMo, which is 10k for seven days. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Good thoughts and happy writing.